Don't talk about courage for the things of the Lord when you're willing to break the fourth commandment because you want to watch football on the Sabbath day. Don't say you would die for your faith when you can't even drag yourself to church faithfully on the Lord's day. Such a life becomes more and more focused on the here and now. The love for Christ grows colder and colder and you don't even realize it. And courage goes AWOL. Your children must not grow up this way. They must grow up seeing in you first a strong faith, second an uncompeted, undivided love for Christ, and thirdly a humble but unwavering courage for the things of God. Brothers and sisters, what do we have to fear? Christ rules the world and all things therein. Oh, we so enjoy quoting Romans chapter 8, verse 28, that all things work together for good, for those who love God, for those who are called according to His purpose. Now, if this is true, if this is really so, and we know it is, why are we lost? Why are we not more courageous? Why are we so afraid to lose reputation, paycheck, maybe even life? 